education, good books, education, not books, education, good brain, education, that's brain. This program, we are very pleased to welcome in St. Vincent and the Grenadines since it is geared towards improving literacy in the early grades. That's why we have the name the Early Learners Program because we're catering for the foundation classes with our target audience from kindergarten to grade three. Locally, the program is being run on the, the Ministry of Education. Um, there's the National Focal Point. I'm fortunate to serve in that capacity, as well as our ELP coordinators. These are teachers. At present, we have six coordinators. These are teachers who are drawn from the classroom and are now serving as facilitators to assist their fellow teachers in developing best practices. I have enjoyed what I'm doing as a mentor and as a coordinator. The teachers are very receptive, I must say, and their willingness to learn is evident. And what they were trained to do, there's evidence that they are willing to implement and they are trying. And I am hoping that at the end of all that literacy in St. Vincent will be and a high. Now the ELP program comprises several components all working together to build awesome readers. We have the language policy component and in this component we are currently conducting several consultations throughout St. Vincent and the Grenadines to address the issue of the use of the Vincentian vernacular in the classroom. So we are having some very healthy discussions, very interesting discussions on that. We are focusing as well on the teacher training. So the ELP is working in conjunction with the Teachers College the Division of Teacher Education to ensure that the best practices that we talk about in the promotion of reading are in sync with each other. We have brought in recently some learning resources and the teachers are quite excited to have um, received these resources that would, they will be using in the classroom to enhance their teaching practices. We are also engaging in curriculum enhancement and reading assessment. But at present, the focus is on professional development. The ELP is a very important program. To me, we have done lots of work already. We have trained over 330 teachers and we are very happy for the opportunity to do this. When we visit the classrooms, some teachers, like one of my colleagues mentioned before, are very scared. But one thing that the ELP brings to the classroom is comfort. We put teachers at a comfortable place where they're able to teach and for us to see the products that we put forth. The teachers are very excited. They have testified that they have learned best practices that they could go back into the classroom to implement and we're quite happy with the sort of responses we're getting. When I came, I did not see the foreign faces. They were all local and they were all teachers that I knew. So I was able to gravitate to them more and to understand the information that was being put forward. Mentoring the teachers, it's not so much of a difficult task because as a teacher, these are some of the things I did in my classroom and I always wanted an opportunity to help my fellow colleagues and I'm really happy that I have had that opportunity and I hope that this initiative continues not only at the end of the funding of it but that teachers would see the need for lifting the literacy standard in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Some of the things I have learned you can make the children librarian in this way the children will have an experience how to go about handling books, learning about books, how to go about packing books on the shelf. Another thing I have learned is that we as teachers need to teach reading and writing across the curriculum, not only in language arts, throughout all subject areas. Apart from the best practices in literacy, we are also discussing ways of establishing good professional learning communities, not only among teachers, where we are encouraging the teachers to engage in networking, conducting their own professional development within the schools and you know, generally working along with each other. We are also encouraging 
professional learning communities among parents. So not only would you have the ordinary parent-teacher meeting, but you have parents coming together to exchange ideas as to how they could better help their children in developing their literacy skills. One of the ways that I really like that the ELP encouraged us as teachers to do is to encourage parents to be involved in our classroom activities, whether it be daily, weekly, monthly. For example, science would be more experimental. Instead of just working along, you as a teacher with the students, you can call in some of the parents to come in and work along with student and teacher together. We also are discussing innovative ideas. Technology is a big part of the ELP program and so we are discussing things like the flipped classroom where traditionally we know that the lectures and the content is given in the classroom but in the flipped classroom children are given an opportunity to explore the content on their own at home and then when they come to the classroom they engage in follow-up activities. You now have a method where students are not mugs wait, empty mugs waiting to be filled. Students have a world of information to share that we can tap into and therefore letting the students bring it to us is one of the strategies that I think is wonderful for it will enable teachers to learn more about their students' previous knowledge and know where to go from there. I like the shared reading and the guided reading, especially the flip the classroom. We can just send a click to them and they give us our feedback when they come into the classroom. I really like that one and I think I'm going to implement it in my teaching skills. I was exposed to one strategy called the shared reading which I'm really excited about and I can't wait to try. During this program also, I got the opportunity to work with several teachers across St. Vincent and the Grenadines who teach reading and writing as well. And I was able to learn a lot from them. Being at this workshop really helped me to mold my skills as a teacher and teach me how to be a better teacher, not only to teach reading, but in all the subject areas. I'm going through all the schools in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Teachers are trying. I'm seeing more student-centered lessons, which is what we are promoting, that the students should be the focus of learning and they should be engaged. Teachers are truly making an effort to do that. I know it's a long process. We will not see the full success or the product of this within a short space of time. But I'm hoping that with us working in a collaborative manner and teachers are very receptive, principals have embraced us, we can get great success in the area of literacy. We are having quite an exciting time with um, our training. I'll just encourage the public generally to find out more about the LP program and how you can assist our students performing better in the area of literacy. We need to have all hands on deck in order to improve literacy. Education, good books. Education, not books. Education, good books. Can I ask you a question? When was the last time you read a good book? Don't worry, I'll wait. A good old mystery is always my go-to, but at the National Public Library and Archives, you don't have to like what I like. There's so many genres for you to choose from. Our collections range from fiction to non-fiction. That means from adventure to philosophy. We've got you covered. And of course, you'll need the perfect book for the little one. You can find it all at a library nearest you. We have 22 branches just filled with staff waiting to assist you in any way possible. And with free internet and computer access at the National Public Library, research and learning is highly encouraged. And and it gets even better. Once you're a member, you're free to borrow the books. Get this, we're also offering printing and scanning services at an affordable rate. Follow us on Facebook at the National Public Library of St. Vincent and the Grenadines to stay updated on our outreach services like the monthly thematic display throughout the library and all our available programs that you could join like the book club, storytelling, remedial reading, literacy programs, homework club, hype program, and the clap for fun program. So I'll ask you again. When was the last time that you read a good book? Children of the future help them.
is the key, so help them read, learn, grow. Let's show them how much fun it is to read, learn, grow. So parents, you play your part. First and foremost, reading from so young is advantageous. Link with the teachers. Working hand in hand is a must. Just 10 minutes of your child reading to you is a plus. Get fun books, make reading priority. When children read, they are able to learn. And the more they learn, the more they grow. So parents have the kids read, learn, go. Reading is fun, kids have to know. Read, learn, go. The children are the future. Help them read, learn, go. So parents. You play a part. This message is brought to you by the OECS USAID Early Learners Program, funded by United States Agency for International Development. For more information, log on to www.oecs.org/elp. Okay, Kimani, it's reading time. Reading with your child has many benefits. It strengthens your bond and helps you to observe your child's progress in reading, speaking, and understanding. There are specific things that you can do before reading to experience these benefits. Talk about the title of the story. The Bear and the Travelers. What do you think the book is about? Let's look at the title. The bear wants to eat them. You think so? Yes. You can also examine the pictures and make predictions about the story. The two men ran away and the bear chased after them. The old man could not run as fast as his younger friend. So well, obviously, I mean, you know. Look, he has a walking stick. He's exactly. obviously really old and slow. You too can enjoy reading together with your child. Let the conversation between you and your child flow and open up an amazing world for them to explore. Empower, learning together. This is a message from the OECS Commission, funded by the Global Partnership for Education under the Education Sector COVID-19 Response and Recovery Strategy. Vincent and the Grenadines Teachers Cooperative Credit Union Limited was built by teachers for all Vincentians. And with over 40 years of providing our members with savings and loan services, we are the Vincentian Credit Union of choice. Visit us on all socials or at www.tccusvg.com to find out how you can become a member. SVG TCCU Limited. Members serving members. Rap. Parents, it takes a village to raise a child. And our children need our support to help them to become well-rounded and successful adults. Reading activities from kindergarten to grade three build a strong foundation and help the children to learn and grow. Everyday activities like talking and telling stories to your children help them to read, learn, and grow. Singing and playing games with your children are great ways to help them learn to read and grow. When you're out and about, Read signs, billboards, and posters with your children. Let your children choose books that they like and read for at least 10 minutes every day. Or let them read to you. Connect with your child's teachers and find out what they're learning in school. We want all of the children of the OECS to read, learn, 
and grow. This message is brought to you by the OECS USAID Early Learners Program, funded by United States Agency for International Development. For more information, log on to www.oecs.org slash ELP. Good morning and welcome to those joining us from the OECS Commission and across the OECS member states. We're happy that you are able to do so. Leave us a comment. We'd love to know which island you're viewing from. An invitation was also extended to our friends from USAID, the United States Agency for International Development. If you're watching this, Greetings from the beautiful botanical gardens in Kingstown, St. Vincent. A very warm welcome to members of the Eastern Caribbean Joint Board of Education, of Teach Education, University of the West Indies. I acknowledge the SVG Teachers Cooperative Credit Union Limited, sponsor of this event, represented on site by President Miriam Roach, and Marketing Manager, Melissa York Nichols. To my colleagues at the Ministry of Education, under normal circumstances, I know that quite a few of you would have been here, but I think I can still feel your presence. Moreover, we are solidly represented by the Minister of Education, Honorable Curtis King, Senior Education Officer, Mavis Joseph, who served as national focal point for the Early Learners Program in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and Gaylene Wickham and Edmira Walker, two Early Learners Program coordinators. Certificate recipients, welcome to the ceremony. We know it's a bit delayed, but we're happy nonetheless that we're able to acknowledge your efforts and achievements having completed the OECS USAID Eastern Caribbean JBTE Reading Certificate course. Entertainers, representatives of VC3, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, you know me already, even, it's, even if it's for the last few minutes. My name is Marlon Anton James, and it's an absolute pleasure serving in this capacity this morning. This event is not merely a presentation ceremony for a reading certificate course. It is also an opportunity for us as education stakeholders to celebrate the art of reading and to reflect on some of the challenges in view of exploring new solutions. Stay with us as we delve right into the ceremony. At this time, I'd like to invite Gaylin Wickham. She's an, as I said, an ELP coordinator, and she would be doing for us the opening prayer. Let's please stand. Pleasant good morning to everybody. It's a joy to be here. We have much to give God thanks for. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your goodness, your mercies, and your love. We are grateful for this day that you have made. God, there are many things that we ought to give thanks for, even though sometimes that we do not even acknowledge individually or collectively in our lives. God, for this day, God, we give you thanks because of the accomplishments that we have made. Today, for those persons who have participated in the reading course, we thank you for their efforts and their achievements. We thank you for the persons who came up with the idea and for the sponsorship for their achievement and for their success. For those who would have worked hard from St. Vincent Teachers College God. Father, today we thank you for everybody who is present here. And I pray God as we go forth with this ceremony that will not just be an end, but for those who would have completed the course God, that Lord, they would go forth and for all the successes they have earned, they will seek opportunities to implement them and to help our students to become more successful in the area of literacy. For everybody who is present here, for the persons who were worked behind the scene to plan this program, we are thankful for them. And God, today, we place everything into your hands and we declare that it shall be a success in no other name but in Jesus' name. Amen. 
please be seated. Thank you so much. And I think with God at the center, we are off to a very good start. I would like at this time to acknowledge the presence of the Chief Executive Officer of the SVG Teachers Cooperative Credit Union Limited, Mrs. Jasmine Huggins Daly. I did not realize that you were here, ma'am. We welcome you very warmly to this ceremony and we thank you so much for the contribution that the credit union has made. We're moving on. We'll now have the opening remarks, which would be done virtually by Senior Education Officer for Curriculum, Mrs. Aldia Gums Dyer. Greetings, everyone. It is my pleasure to welcome you as we celebrate this important accomplishment of our teachers. John Cotton Dana, a 19th century American librarian, advises us that he who dares to teach must never cease to learn. Therefore, the Ministry of Education and Reconciliation is pleased to have collaborated with the OECS Education Development Management Unit and other partners to provide this very relevant program of study for our teachers to better their craft. Indeed, teachers, we are proud that you have successfully completed this course, Certificate in Teaching of Reading in the Primary Grades. You see, at the heart of the ministry's mission is the mandate to provide high quality education to all persons of the state. Researchers agree that the single most important contributor to students' educational success is high-quality instruction. Thus, the Ministry of Education seeks to make vulnerable high-quality professional development opportunities for teachers to address the multiple individual differences they encounter. Colleagues, can you see how timely your success is? Almost overnight, the learning environment was transformed when the COVID-19 pandemic raged across the globe, and education was forced into the realm of remote learning, mainly online. Here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the volcanic eruptions of April 2021 only complicated the challenges already on the table. Educators, Parents and even students must therefore come together and don their problem-solving caps to meet the needs of students in this new context. Between 2020 and 2021, the government distributed over 23,000 tablets to students and teachers. What can we do to ensure that these devices are used effectively to facilitate learning and ultimately students' development. Ladies and gentlemen, we continue to work with other agencies to create digital content and to facilitate access to learning apps at no cost to students. You two parents must play your part. I encourage you to have your children download the learning applications as they become available. Principals will give you a list of these when you collect your child's report. I can assure you that students' literacy and numeracy will be improved if they use them even for half an hour per day over the vacation. Colleagues, I implore you to be a beacon as you use the knowledge and skills garnered from this program. Howard Garner, 1972, emphasize that teacher professional development is not effective unless it leads to students' improved performance. Further, I urge you to share your best practices and establish communities of learning so that whole schools and ultimately our whole country can develop. Ladies and gentlemen, colleagues, I wish you all the best as we continue to work together for the betterment of our country. A blessed day to all and do enjoy the rest of the program. Thank you so much, Mrs. Dyer. 
And if you found that Mrs. Dyer looked a little bit decorated, those actually are learning apps. We use that background of learning apps, many of which can be used for literacy development. So we had Reading with Akili, we had Feed the Monster, and a host of others. In fact, a circular was sent out to all schools with recommended learning apps for the 2021-2022 academic year. So please stay tuned, please stay in tune and use your learning apps come the new academic year. We continue now with the program. We are happy to have two entertainers with us. Jacinta Edwards and Shane Wynn, and I believe they have an important message for us. Let's welcome as they come. Welcome them as they come. Teachers, good morning. Teachers, good morning. I don't want this to sound like a warning, but our children are sent to you to supervise and also given advice, educationally wise. But I'm here as a parent to explain some of the dramas we as parents does end up in a crime and violence is on the increase that's why i just sit me son down and i just talk to him because me now want me son to go astray so me I talk to him night and day. Look me put him on my knee. Me teach him how to pray. And these are the kind of things I just say. Life have it ups and it down. You must have faith and be strong. Never let life problems get you down. But me attack, you attack, we attack, but the boy now listen. And me attack, yes me attack, and me attack, but the boy now listen. Me son get serious in a joke. He start to drink, he start to smoke. He gone on the crack, he gone on the coke. Now they seem like there is no hope Cause the boy arrogant The boy is a bat I don't want to say it but he thief like cat I don't want to say it but he thief like cat And that is the truth I mean now nah, hold it back And that is the truth I mean now nah, hold it back I used to talk Teachers talk We attack but the boy now nah, listen I used to talk Yes me attack And me attack and the boy now nah, listen the boy make me cry he bring water to me I due to lawlessness police had him in custody the first was he call was mommy now me talk till me host me can't say nothing and that was the time the boy wa listen and that was the time the boy wa listen i used to talk teachers talk we used to talk but the boy now listen i used to talk i used to talk i used to talk and the boy now listen he and some bad boy had a show down they back someone kick him to the ground, he ball for more than the cut him on his shoulder. He start to cry, the joke him in the eye. Then they take a gun and shot him in the leg. That wasn't enough. They shot him in the head. That wasn't enough. They shot him in the head. The life he choose was so dread. He should have followed me advice instead. I used to talk. I used to talk. Teachers talk. Boy, now listen. We used to talk. We used to talk. We used to talk. And the boy, now listen. Now oh, there's an old time saying. <laughs> you make picnic. But you not make them mine. 
Nobody want a talking. Nobody want a teacher's advising. He boy choose his own path. Now look upon me. I prepare for funeral. Me used to talk. Me used to talk. Me used to talk. And the boy now listen. Teachers, you talk. I ah, you talk. I ah, you talk. But the boy now listen. That boy. That boy. That boy, boy, boy. Lord, have your mercy today. I really wish the boy had listened more. Let me see the hands of the teachers who just talk. Plenty, plenty. But, you know, in spite of everything, we have to continue to talk. We have to continue to try. If you enjoy that performance from Jacinta and Shane, a big round of applause. Very, very well. Thanks so much to them for coming and entertaining us. We move forward now with the program. We have the overview of the course that the participants, the teachers took just about a year, a little bit over a year ago. And to tell us all about the course is Dr. Karen Thomas. She's the Deputy Director of the St. Vincent and Grenadines Community College, and she was a facilitator of the course. Thank you and good afternoon, everyone. Thank you too for the privilege of sharing with you briefly the overview of this program that has concluded. In March of 2020, 150 primary grade teachers across six OECS territories participated in the OECS Commission-sponsored certificate course in reading instruction. That course was called the Teaching of Reading in the Primary Grades. Initially, that course was to be conducted as a face-to-face -face activity. However, with COVID in full stream, we were forced to make adjustments and the course was readjusted for online delivery. The course was managed by Dr. Corrine J. Leacock of the School of Education, Cafield Campus, Barbados, and there were three facilitators in this program. Those facilitators were Professor Joel Warrican, the Director of the School of Education, Cafield Campus, Barbados, Dr. Joan Hernandez from Jamaica, and me, Dr. Karen Thomas from the St. Vincent and the Grenadines Community College. This program had several goals, several aims, and I'm going to share a few of those goals with you. Our aim was to, part to help participants to develop competence in the following areas. The practical application of skills, strategies, and activities for reading instruction in the primary grades. The use of approaches in assessing how students were learning to read, how they were developing, and how we could plan interventions for these students. Incorporated in this program also was the goal of getting teachers to use technology during their instruction and during assessment. One of the critical components of this program was to ensure that teachers were able not just to focus on what reading was about or what were the pillars of reading to be covered, but also to establish different ways in which they can motivate students to learn. So we wanted teachers to leave this program mastering the competencies that they should have in their pedagogical skills, and we also wanted them to demonstrate how they were implementing these newly learned strategies or strategies that were being revised in their respective classrooms. As I said before, there were 25 teachers from each territory, St. Vincent and the Grenadines being one of those territories that participated in the program. The structure of the program was as follows. We made sure that best practices were included in the delivery and the practice of what was being taught during the session. So we focused a lot on reading motivation, the pillars of reading instruction, which included phonological awareness, fluency, vocabulary development, teaching, spelling, and developing comprehension among students. In each mode, in each mode within each module, 
teachers were engaged in interactive activities, they answered questions, they met online with other territories in St. Vincent and the Grenadines on Tuesdays for two hours from seven to nine. And later on in that week, there was somewhat of a tutorial scaffolding supporting session that was conducted with these students. In some cases, facilitators who worked within the delivery of the lecture session in the first session also served as the, the guidance that the, the teachers needed when they were meeting for their tutorials. Within each module, the teachers participated in interactive activities. For instance, they made books, they did mini lessons, they shared their experiences from within their classrooms and they completed their own assessments. The final component of the course was an action research project in which each teacher worked along with one selected student. Participants planned and implemented intervention strategies based on assessment activities. They reflected on their growth as teacher participants and they also shared the experiences that they encountered when they worked with these students. Today, on behalf of my co-facilitators and the full management team along with the OECS Commission, we want to take this opportunity to celebrate those teachers who stuck with it throughout the very challenging times and say congratulations to you. Continue to keep the good work going. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Thomas. And we've heard that one of the goals of the course was to encourage teachers to use technology in instruction and in assessment. So at this time, we're going to invite one of the participants, her name is Shari Rouse, to do, well, to give us a sample. She's going to read one of her stories. It was one of the stories she wrote, and she's going to show us how we can use animation to bring it alive. So here is Shari Rouse. A pleasant good morning to everyone. During our reading course, we were afforded the opportunity to create stories. And I would personally say that was my best, my favorite part. It was on short vowel song words, and my story features short vowel song words for the letter U. And it's entitled, Lock the Duck. I also animated it in PowerPoint a little bit. I hope you enjoy. Lock the Duck. There once was a famous duck. His name was Handsome Luck. He loved to play in the sun and he dug in the mud for fun. Luck saw a little ladybug. Its feet were stuck to a piece of gum. He dug, pulled, and tugged the little ladybug. Hooray! I'm free, she hummed. Meanwhile, his mom was coming home on a bus. She saw his mess and she fussed. At first she gave him a tug, but shrugged, then after gave him a hug. Luck sat on the purple rug while she poured warm water into a jug. Mother Duck put him in the tub and rubbed and rubbed and scrubbed. Handsome Luck loved to play with the suds. When Luck was done, he was as snug as a bug in a rug. Luck had so much fun playing in the mud. The end. Luck the duck. 
the use of short vowel sounds. Thank you so much once again, Shari. To those of you viewing right now, I want to encourage you to like the pages of SVG Education Media Unit and also of VC3 for future broadcasts of this kind, educational. And uh, while you're at it, I think you should thank the St. Vincent and Grenadines Teachers Cooperative Credit Union Limited for sponsoring this broadcast. Yes, they deserve a round of applause. Thanks so much to the credit union. We're very happy to have with us today the president who will now deliver some remarks. Please welcome Mrs. Miriam Roach. Honorable Curtis King, Minister of Education, National Reconciliation, and National Reconciliation. I am told Mrs. Elizabeth B Walker, our chief, the Chief Education Officer, is also listening. Mrs. Aldea Gomes Dyer, Senior Education Officer with responsibility for curriculum development. Mrs. Mavis Joseph, Senior Education Officer and Focal Point for the Early Learners Program. Dr. Karen Thomas, Deputy Director of the St. Vincent and the Grenadines Community College and one of the fa three facilitators of the Early Childhood Learners Program. To you, the 24 participants gathered here, and to our hostess, Miss Marlon Anton James, and all attending, other persons attending in person, and those following online on VCTV, and to all our regional persons listening in. A pleasant good morning. I am honored to have been afforded the opportunity on behalf of the St. Vincent and the Grenadines Teachers Cooperative Credit Union, the sponsor of this event, to bring you brief remarks. As the event sponsor, it is not my intention to bore you with a speech that will detract from the special occasion for you, the participants, but rather I want to express how the St. Vincent and the Grenadines Teachers Cooperative Credit Union wishes to share in your experiences. Additionally, I want to register our commitment to education, specifically to the development of teachers, as we understand very well the overall impact that a well-trained teacher has on students. Furthermore, I want as well to reaffirm the Teachers' Cooperative Credit Union's commitment to education for all Vincentians. The St. Vincent and the Grenadines Teachers' Union congratulates the Ministry of Education and its partners, the OECS, which is the Organization of the Eastern Caribbean States, the Eastern Caribbean Joint Board of Teacher Education, the U.S. Agency for International Development, and the University of the West Indies, on the hosting of another initiative designed to improve the skill set of teachers. Your ability to bring this training to fruition must be commended, as there must have been many challenges for you and sponsors in coordinating and implementing such a program amidst the numerous difficulties experienced during this period. We also commend the Ministry of Education on its vision of continuous education for teachers at all levels within varied academic environments that are so essential to the total development of the child and for the improvement of literacy in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The Teachers Credit Union as an organization, as our organization is often referred, bears the name teachers as part of its brand. Although we cater for all Vincentians at home and abroad, we are proud to remind everyone that the St. Vincent and the Grenadines Teachers Cooperative Credit Union originated as a support initiative for teachers. Its emergence was necessitated as a consequence of the need for a mechanism to provide for teachers during difficult and challenging circumstances. 
it is on the, this backdrop that we are almost always receptive to call to the call of stakeholders to partner in initiatives for teachers' interests. The sponsorship of today's event is an acknowledgement of our own interests in the development of our teachers and our country. This is another of the activities that the St. Vincent and the Creatures Teachers Cooperative Credit Union has engaged in to provide the education sector with support. Partic participants of the Reading Certificate Program, we understand the challenges that you must have faced over the past months. With the myriad of restrictions brought about by COVID-19 and which was then compounded by the volcanic eruption. Even while you still hope you have to cope with the ongoing negative impact of these two issues, you have been able to complete your studies and are now participating in an activity to receive a certificate of attainment in a specific field of study. This is testament of your fortitude, your resilience and perseverance as teachers and as citizens. I take this opportunity on behalf of our organization to congratulate you. We urge all teachers to seek out opportunities for lifelong learning so that they can always be in the forefront of the type of educational changes that are required for the edification of successive generations. But while I avoided the platitudes of a sponsor by naming all of the products and services that Teachers Credit Union offers, I would like to highlight a few of Teachers Credit Union's initiatives that demonstrates our commitment to the educational development of our nation. We are the only credit union with a subsidiary facility which provides school supplies at reasonable prices with discounts and special payment plans for our members. This door is only one of our well thought out products or services geared to meeting the need of all Vincentians. We offer bursaries to support tertiary education for members. And of course, teachers are among the beneficiaries. Student members and children of members who benefit from scholarship to, sco to secondary schools as well as vouchers which are redeemable at our supplies outlets are provided. We also give support for schools throughout St. Vincent and this support is ongoing and include participation in sports at home and abroad. And we give at, for more schools donation of books to school libraries. The secondary school band showcase in recognition of the arts was launched in 2018 with SVGTU as its the title sponsor. It is an initiative in partnership with the Ministries of Culture and Education. And so we anticipate the 2021 showcase later this year. I am sure that you will agree with me that over the years, the Teachers Co Cooperative Credit Union has given its word and it has committed to the development of teacher and the nation of St. Vincent. And for that, I'm sure, as teachers sitting here today, you are grateful for our contribution. And so I conclude with congratulations again to you, the participants, on your accomplishment, and to remind you and all Vincentian that the Teachers Credit Union continues to be proud in its support. For we were built for teachers, by teachers, for all Vincentians. Thank you so much, Ms. Roach, for those remarks. We're moving right on. We now have a poem titled, I Am From, which is going to be done by one of the certificate recipients. She is Joylyn Jack James. And just to give you a little bit of a background, there was a particular context in which they had to compose their poems. For example, the first line, I am from, and they had to make mention of a favorite childhood story. From, and they had to give a book that they read and liked as teenagers, and a book they read and liked as an adult, etc., etc. 
So here is Joylyn Jack James to do her version of I Am From. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Okay, so this was one of the prompts that were given to us. And this is what I came up with. I am from a house on a beachfront, eating fresh fish and bathing in the sea all day for most of my days. From enchanted islands and men from Mars and women are from Venus. I am from Verbena Jack, my mother, and Matilda Roberts, Robert, my Auntie Matty, and George Lynch, my grad godfather. I am from mystery and romance. I am from knowing that without comprehension, we lack the ability to understand what we read. I am from the belief that reading is the gateway to learning. I am from the main idea, the author's purpose and sequence of events. From Miss, where that be? And from, let us read it over together and make sense of it. I am from using schema and from knowing and from know your students are different and they learn differently. And I am from Patience. And I am from Rathamil. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Joylyn Jack James. We now move on with remarks by our Chief Education Officer, Mrs. Elizabeth Walker. The ability to read fluently continues to be an area of concern among our students, particularly at the primary school level. The Ministry of Education and National Reconciliation is determined in its efforts to eradicate the scourges of illiteracy in our education system. Our vision is to have every child read confidently at or above his or her grade level. The recent challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic and the eruptions of La Soufre volcano have presented an even more odious task in accomplishing this goal. The Ministry of Education remains resolute that, with the help of our dedicated principals, teachers, parents and other stakeholders, our students will overcome in this fight for a much more literate society. The OECS USAID Early Learners Program, once sponsored by United States Agency for International Development and administered by the OECS Commission, envisioned an enhanced reading performance by kindergarten to grade three students as its ultimate goal. This program, operated under the Ministry of Education, offered a tremendous boost to our education system. To the seven components, curriculum enhancement, a draft language policy on the home language, teaching learning resources, teacher training, school improvement, student assessment, and professional development for teachers. The local ELP team worked tirelessly to improve reading in the classroom, especially by offering high quality training for teachers in the area of literacy. Today, on behalf of the Ministry of Education and National Reconciliation, I proudly extend heartiest congratulations to all 23 teachers the worthy recipients of certificates of achievement and participation from the Eastern Caribbean Joint Board of Teacher Education, University of the West Indies. Your engagement in three months of specialized training as you persevere through the program teaching reading in the primary grades is indeed commendable. You are the beneficiaries of a reading program that was designed to equip you with the relevant pedagogical skills necessary for effectively teaching our students 
using the best approaches to enhance their reading performance, especially in the foundation grades, kindergarten to grade three. The Ministry of Education is extremely grateful for the funds and other resources injected into this program by USAID and the OECS Commission through the Early Learners Program. Thanks also to the course designers and facilitators of the Eastern Caribbean Joint Board of Teacher Education, including Professor Joel Warricon, Dr. Corinne Leacock, Dr. Joan Spencer Hernandez, and our own Dr. Karen Thomas, local facilitator of the course. To all who made this program possible for this cadre of teachers, we say heartfelt thank you. As I wrap up, I urge you teachers to make maximum use of your newly acquired knowledge and skills in a consistent and effective manner. Let us all be rewarded with the shared joy of witnessing our students read effortlessly and happily as they develop into well-rounded, successful students. As the ELP encourage all along, let them read, learn, and grow. Once again, congratulations and best wishes to all of you. I wish you every success in the classroom. God's richest blessing on all of us. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chief, for those remarks. And as you've heard, the teacher participants have completed a course in the teaching of reading in the primary grades. And we'll now witness the presentation of certificates of participation. And I invite Minister King to come forward to assist with the distribution. And uh, Mrs. Joseph will also uh, aid in this part of the ceremony. So we'll do the distribution right here. As we invite Marissa Johnson, Marissa Johnson to come forward quickly. Marissa is not here. Uh, Shanette Ledlow, Shanette Ledlow. And the Shanette tells us that her favorite food is Massey Stores rotisserie chicken. What is yours? We move on to Shari Rouse. Shari Rouse, whose most distinctive feature is her vivacious personality. So she says, it's that loud pop you hear when you open a nice bottle of champagne. The splash that occurs after it opens is a part of the experience. We now move on to the teachers who have earned certificates of achievement. And we begin with Misha Glynn. Misha Glynn, who loves to do nails. Misha, ah, look at the nails. Look at the nails. You have to show the, the, the people viewing your nails. She loves to do nails. <laughs> and Monique Williams. Monique Williams is next. And Monique loves watching true crime videos and eating cheesecake. We have some interesting teachers there. Eh? And Myrna Fergus. Myrna Fergus is next. Myrna says, I like teaching. It has been my dream job. Also, I have a passion for it because I love children, especially those at the early childhood stage. Not, not all teachers use teaching as a stepping stone. Some of them have teaching as a um, dream job. Yes. So Shanika Scott, you are next. And she is a Nancy Drew Books lover. She says Nancy Drew Books are still one of my favorites. This is Shanika Scott, who will be followed by Shellyan Brown. And Shellyan says, apart from teaching, I enjoy baking, which has now become one of my 40. Baking. 
and Zonel Kamabach. Zonel Kamabach. And Zonel says, I complete anything I begin and do it well. What a beautiful attitude to have. Angelique George. Angelique George is next. And Angelique says she's a creative, multi-skilled, committed, and hard-working individual. And guess what her favorite animal is? Guess. A rabbit. <laughs> Atiba Chambers. Atiba Chambers is next. And she says, I am a teacher by profession, but a baker by heart. At heart. I enjoy putting a smile on the faces of those I come into contact with through sweet treats. Atiba, you, we need to talk after the ceremony. Yes, it's sweet treats. Right. Kanchi Kane, Kanchi Kane, who loves animals of all types and loves knowledge. This is Chanchi Kane, who will be followed by Denise Williams. Denise Williams, please stand by. And Denise. I am suspecting is a simple person. Her description of herself is, I love nature. That's it. Simple and to the point. I love nature. Indira Derek is next. And while Indira comes, we'll let you know that Indira is a lover of quotes. And this is one of her favorite quotes. With God, all things are possible. Imagine with all your mind. Believe with all your heart. Achieve with all your might. And we've met Joylyn Jack before. She read us the poem, I am from. This time she's coming back to receive her certificate. And one of her favorite things to do is to use her hands and do things for herself. For example, she makes her own clothes. Again, Joylyn, we need to speak after the, the ceremony. Julene Hope, Julene Hope, who is a boss in the classroom and a boss in the kitchen, she says. Julene Hope. We have a lot of teachers who enjoy working in the kitchen. I notice baking and all of that. All right, Kenya Ford, Kenya Ford, who says, I am kind Kenya, who enjoys roasted fried breadfruit with saltfish. Nature is her sanctuary, and she says it re-energizes her and connects her to the creator. And finally, listen, Lyson Hines. Listen, listen, Hines. And guess what? She doesn't eat anything with cheese. Listen, Heinz. Last recipient today, but we also acknowledge the the participation of Kalila King. Thank you so much, Minister. That's the end, and also Mrs. Joseph. That's the end of the presentation ceremony. But we, sorry, the presentation segment. But we also acknowledge the participation of Kalila King, Ivy Brown, Marshallette Rogers. Rusan Jack, Shelley and Graves, who could not make it today. We now have, I forgot my program. We now have the reflection by one of the participants. The reflection. The reflection, and to do the reflection is Angelique George. Thank you very much. Protocol has already been established. Good morning. It is with great pleasure that I will be briefly sharing my reflection on the OECS USAID ECJBTE CPD 1000 Teaching Reading in the Primary Grades Certificate course. To begin with, over the period of 10 weeks, 
I was exposed to a wealth of information on the foundations of reading and reading instruction. Developing reading competence in the primary grades and approaches to reading assessment in the primary grades through independent study, online discussions, both synchronous and asynchronous, videos, and readings that were all facilitated by Dr. Karen Thomas, Professor Joel Warrican, Dr. Joan Spencer Hernandez, and Dr. Corinne Leacock. According to Leonardo da Vinci, learning never exhausts the mind. Although most of the content delivered throughout this course was a reminder for me as I learned the information during my pursuit of my associate degree in primary education at the St. Vincent and the Grenadines Community College Division of Teacher Education. The course was still very enlightening Notably, the online sessions, which were very informative and interactive. I particularly enjoyed these interactive online sessions because they allowed me to apply what was, what was taught and further reinforced my independent readings. Reinforced by my independent readings, sorry. It was also a great experience being able to share some personal teaching experiences with other educators, not only in St. Vincent, but also from other Caribbean territories during, during these sessions. Great ability develops and reveals itself increasingly with every new assignment, says Balthazar Gracian. During this course, juggling between planning and teaching for my regular classes and complete course assignments was a great challenge, but it was all worth it. One of my favorite assignments involved working with the members of group VC3, they are sitting there, on creating phonics stories, you would have heard Shari's um, story, Lock the Duck, focusing on each vowel sound. This assignment allowed me to express myself and be creative while boosting my confidence in my ability to create my own stories, to cater for my students' reading needs. I also enjoyed conducting my action research. Although this was a tedious task, I am relieved knowing that I was able to successfully help one student to become a better reader. Upon completing this course, I believe that I am better equipped to make a difference in the success of my students with a fundamental belief that all children can learn to read when they have the skills and determination to make it happen. Thus. It is my responsibility as a teacher of reading to base my classroom practices on sound reading theories, provide instruction that meets the specific learning needs of my students, create an organized and stimulating learning environment, and regularly assess my students' achievements in relation to the expectations of the OECS language arts curriculum. In closing, I wish to thank all the facilitators of this course for your time in sharing your knowledge to make us more equipped teachers of reading. Thank you for also enlightening us on how critical it is that every teacher has an understanding of the difficulties of the reading process and the skills to implement all of the components of effective reading instruction. To my fellow colleagues, I wish to remind and encourage you that the teaching of reading is a marathon, of which we are the trainers and our students the runners. Let us also remember that all students have different abilities and needs that must be met at all times. So it's not going to be. Tom can read, or Jenny not even know her letter songs, but rather, 
what can I do to help Tom or Jenny to become good readers? My fellow colleagues, I want to leave this quote with you by Vince Lombardi. The price of success is hard work, dedication to the job at hand, and the determination that whether we win or lose, we have applied the best of ourselves to the task at hand. Thank you. We thank you very much, Angelique, for those words of reflection. And let's put our hands together. Put your hands together for yourselves for having completed the course. Now, we have, a, we have several teachers who have received certificates today. But we also have another teacher in our midst who has taught, by the way, for over 25 years. He's a teacher at the Sandy Bay Secondary School. He won the Calypso Monarch in 2007, sorry, 2011, with a song called Susie. I remember it very well. And he is here today to do one called Life Ain't No Better Roses. And who better to tell us about that than someone who has had to move, who has been uprooted from his home village of Fancy. And he's still, he's still outside of the, the um, red zone. And he consented, and we're very happy that we have today to perform for us, Life Ain't No Better Roses, Maxwell Tajo Francis. Welcome him as he comes. It's a pleasant good morning to everyone. And let me take this opportunity to also congratulate the teachers who have participated in this very important course in helping to assist our children in ensuring that the reading in the classroom is improved. I hope you will definitely put this to, to use. Thank you very much. Okay, I want to share with you the song, No Better Roses. While Tajo awaits the track there, we are very close to the end of the program. We have left to come just a vote of thanks, which would be done by one of the participants, Monique Williams. We have had a very successful event, I would say, with all things in place, a program that has run very smoothly. And uh, the, the task of the vote of thanks is not mine, but we would certainly want to thank all of the, the persons who made this event not just a reality, but a success. Challenge. This life is a struggle. This life is a journey. Everyone has to travel. So the roads may be rugged, the valleys so deep. More chills and mountains, many a time so steep. But never ever make the hardships in life get you down. No way. Focus on your dreams and you will ever. Be strong and say This road to life is filled with sorrows and pain oh, yeah. 
humiliation, stress, embarrassment, and much shame. Ah. I say don't you give in when obstacles come your way. I say don't be afraid to fall on your knees and pray. Keep your faith, hold on, and always keep hope alive. For this is the only way that you may survive. This life they know better. Roses, tell them they lie, they lie. Nothing in life is easy under the sky. Life is a constant struggle for many of us to survive. And it's only through faith why many of us are alive. Some may think that this life on earth is an easy walk over. But I've seen many try, and in the streets they get slaughtered. So hold on to your dreams and don't let go of your goals, no. This life is a struggle, this life they know better. Oh, 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 oh. Hey. Oh, oh. This life is a battle Not all of us will survive Many of us will fall victims All along the wayside Many trials and testings me stand in your way to enjoy life tomorrow you have to earn today I say don't be a victim to the ills of society be strong in your faith and be the best you can be perseverance and strength is what we need to go on for this journey called life is filled with chaos and storm I say never give in even when the odds are against you For it is only you who can make all your dreams come true Be true to yourself whenever trials should come Hold on to your dreams until the battle is won This might be no better Roses, tell them they lie, they lie Nothing in life is easy under the sky Make use of all opportunities you get in life Forget about lazy, idleness, envy and strife Some may choose to live by the gun and think that it's easy But I've seen many mothers cry You better believe me Don't allow either company and to lead you astray, no like those who fall by the way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa. This life is a story. Some of them good, some bad. Some of them make us happy, while others are sad. Some of them have beginnings, others have no end. Some of these are the stories of your fallen friends. So don't be afraid to face your hardship in life. Just believe that one day you'll surely receive your prize. Hold on to the end and don't let go come what me. Oh, yeah. The good deeds in life will one day surely repay. Yeah, yeah. I say never give up when obstacles come your way. Just continue to dream of a life with a brighter day. The height by which great men reach will not just attain. But while others slept, they were toiling out in the rain. If this might be no better, roses, tell them they lie. Nothing in life is easy under the sky. This life is about survival, hardship, and pain. 
Only the fittest of the fittest will survive in this game. Try and reach for the stars, let me know that the sky is the limit. I have seen dreams come true and I know that I could make it. So hold on to your dreams and don't let go of your goals, no. This life ain't no better. Thank you very much. DJ, I just about to sing the energy song. You, you caught my vibe. <laughs> All right. Then give another round of applause for Tajo, Maxwell Francis. And I was just sitting there and thinking what creativity lies within education. Because, you know, another teacher created the music, Junior Sutherland, a teacher from the St. Vincent Grammar School. A round of applause for Junior as well. Beautiful music to compliment very beautiful words, Tajo. Thank you so much. All right, so we are wrapping up and we promise that the vote of thanks will come now. But just before we do that, the minister has a few words of encouragement and we welcome him at this time. Thank you very much, Marla. A pleasant good morning to those of us who are gathered here. And of course, those who are following us via VC3, as well as via the internet across the region and perhaps across the world. I sat there and I felt that it would be remiss of me if I was to leave here without, in a very short way, offer my own commendations as Minister of Education to those involved in this most wonderful effort. So thank you very much, Marla, for having me and giving me the opportunity to do so. I must remind persons that the government of St. Vincent and the Grenadines is committed to quality education that is accessible to all and lifelong. It is therefore critical that those who are charged with the delivery of education have the capacity to deliver that quality education. And it is within this context that we should see this wonderful activity this morning. So, I want to commend the Ministry of Education and its partners, the USAID, the East Caribbean Joint Board of Teacher Education, the UWI, as well as the OECS Commission for working together in producing this program that sought to enhance the quality of our teachers, to make sure or to put them in a position to de deliver quality education. I want also to commend you, the teachers, yourselves, because in difficult circumstances, you will never the less be all those challenges behind you and not only give your commitment, but demonstrated that commitment by completing this very important course. And for that, I want you to put your hands together for yourself. And I want also to thank sincerely the Teachers Cooperative Credit Union, an organization as the name says, teachers, which is also committed to the education of our people. And I thank the Teachers Credit Union for its commitment and its magnanimous support in sponsoring this event today. And I certainly hope that this would not be the last occasion 
when the Teachers Credit Union would be coming forward with support to the Ministry of Education. So, teachers, you are now in a better position to deliver your program at your respective schools. I ask that you return to your school with the enthusiasm, with the vigor and energy to do just that. Your children would be the great beneficiary and by extension, the country of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So once again, congratulations and I thank you all the key players in this activity for making it such a wonderful event. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Minister, for your words of encouragement on the spot. It wasn't planned, it wasn't a part of the program, uh, but it was very much welcomed. At this time, we would have the vote of thanks by Angelique. Monique Williams. <laughs> Monique Williams. Good morning, everyone. A famous speaker once said, no matter what language you speak, a kind word and a smiling thank you speaks to everyone's heart. So I'm here to do just that. Today, on this auspicious occasion, I have been entrusted with the onerous task of putting into words this year's cohort's depth of gratitude to the sponsors, stakeholders, participants, and all the people and entities responsible for making today's ceremony both possible and a resounding success. On behalf of the 2020 cohort of participants, I would firstly like to extend a heartfelt thank you to the OECS USAID under the Early Learners Program who organized and sponsored this course, without whom this initiative would not be possible. Thank you also to the St. Vincent and the Grenadines Teachers Cooperative Credit Union for sponsoring today's event. Additionally, I would also like to extend a special thank you to the Eastern Caribbean Joint Board of Teacher Ed Education and the St. Vincent and the Grenadines Community College Division of Teacher Education, who through joint partnership designed and delivered this course. Our gratitude is also owed to the Minister of Education, the Honorable Curtis King, the Chief Education Officer, and the staff of the Ministry of Education for partnering with both the JBTE and the DTE to aid with the logistics of the course as well as for organizing this small ceremony. I cannot say thank you without also thanking and calling by name the knowledgeable and dedicated staff of the regional and the knowledgeable and dedicated regional and local facilitators, Dr. Joan Spencer Hernandez, Dr. Leacock, and our own Joel Warrican and Karen Thomas. Thank you also to Jacinta and Shane for that enlightening choral speech and to Tajo for his beautiful rendition of Life Ain't No Better Roses. Special thanks to our principals and my fellow colleagues for your continued support and interest in initiatives geared towards imparting valuable information and educating the youth of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Thank you also to the SVG Media Unit for organizing today's ceremony, VC3, and the Agency for Public Information for both live streaming and recording today's ceremony. Thank you to the National Parks for the use of today's beautiful venue. Thanks also to the key players in today's ceremony, namely the Master of Ceremony, Mrs. N or the Mistress, <laughs> Mrs. Marlon Anton James, the Chief Education Officer, Mrs. Elizabeth Walker, Gaylene Wickham for your prayer, Aldia Gums for, her, for your welcoming remarks, and Minister King and Mrs. Joseph for presenting the certificates. The list is vast. And so omissions may be possible. If there is anyone that I may have omitted by name, know that we are grateful for your support. Thank you.
Thank you very much, Monique. By now we are friends, so I will help you. We just want to thank Delis Jones for the beautiful decor, very colorful. We want to thank Clara Providence's Catering Services for the snacks that you will enjoy after the ceremony. And we want to thank, there's a third, there's a third person, oh, the management of the botanical gardens so thank you all it's just left for me to say thank you all very much for coming out a special big up to beck and the guys from vc3 excellent work today and on the days of preparation thank you so much and do enjoy the rest of the event the munching part thank you before you do that we would like to invite you for a photo a group shot so if you come this way in front of the banners we'll do so quickly and then we have a little time to socialize and get something to eat thank you dj kano